That's right. I'm a new today. Deal with it. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the one and only Jodeci Dion. I'm back again with another People Still Play This, a.k.a. probably my greatest Modern Warfare Reflux uh, match ever. I've been a runt lately, man, so I haven't been feel like playing any game. And usually when I'm in this kind of mood, I always go back to play a game that I figure no one else is playing or something I haven't played in a long time because of a new game being currently out. And so for all my first person shooter you love, I've been playing Black Ops like everybody else. But since I've been in this rut, I decided let's go back and play some Reflux. The game that got me into playing first person shooters on the Wii. And like I said, today man, I probably had the greatest match I've ever played. And let me get this out there. I'm an average player. I'm a noob tuber. I'm a casual first person shooter player. I've never proclaimed to be the best. I never proclaimed to be the greatest. I never said about never said anything about me wanting to be the greatest or anything like that. I just play it because sometimes you just want to shoot something. Sometimes you just want to kill something. And so that's why I do. So like I was saying, today man, I threw on the game and just wanted to play and it turned out to be one of the best matches I ever did. You know, because you've seen my videos in the past. I'm I'm an average player, man. In some cases, below average. It just depends on the day. I'm not really consistent. I definitely noticed that on Reflux, I'm a I'm not as I'm not as I don't play as well compared to Black Ops. Black Ops seem to be a more user friendly type game, and Reflux is really there is a little bit more. There is a little bit more learning learning curve to it, I guess. I don't want to say skill. Because, you know, like I said, I'm not a pro or anything. I don't know what makes skill in a freaking shooter game besides reaction time and, and things like that and strategy. But it is a harder game for me. And so I started playing the game, man. And at first I was getting killed and everything. And then all of a sudden I just got in this, move, this, this swing. And here we are right now. Check this out. I got three kills in a row. Then my fourth. So this guy was looking here. My fifth. Which I, I love this right here. So I'm up here, and these guys, I'm trying to set the bomb. I set the airstrike, but it's not happening. And it finally happened. And then all of a sudden, these guys come up. So I just jump off and just start running. Because I know they're shooting at me. And so I get I get away and strike a distance, and then the airplanes come. <sighs> Take your two guys out. I get two more kills, and now I'm at seven kills. I can call in a helicopter. It's really, it really had like a movie vibe feel when I first did it, when I was playing it. Because it's... This is real funny because on this game for me, it's definitely a lot harder to get a kill streak. And I think maybe most people agree with that. That it's just a lot harder. And so I walk into a bomb. I hate that I walk into a bomb. But I got to my kill streak, man. And I, I set those bombs, and then all of a sudden those guys came out of nowhere. And usually by then I've been dead, I've been shot. And so I just took off running, jumped off the building. So now I got a helicopter going, and there I am in this one area just getting kills. I don't, I don't know what, what, it, what it was. Maybe the guys I was playing weren't that good. I don't know. But I was getting, I was on fire today, at least aiming wise. I have a hard time aiming on reflux too. Maybe I guess because the perks on there, there's no way to assist you. If you want a steady aim, you have to drop something else. And in this game, you want your best perk to help you fight. So I'm playing, I'm doing pretty well. Just got killed again. At this point, thanks to the helicopter, I'm like, you know, over 10 kills but under like five deaths. And so for me, a sign of being of being good or at least playing well is having definitely having way more kills than you do have deaths. And if you get into an area where you have double digit kills and still have single, uh, single uh, digit deaths, you're doing real well. Now I know, I know the professionals will be like, man, a true pro, a true great player doesn't get killed at all. Like I said, I'm not a great player. I'm just a, I'm just a guy who just plays for fun. So 
So we got a good match going on. I'm the host right now playing in, I guess, the U.S. region. And so it's a, it's a overall just a good match because everybody got good connection speed. There's nothing saying there's no one who's going to get done in because they're they're far away from me, I guess. And once again, I'm working on another kill streak, y'all. This... Why I say this is one, why I say this is probably my, my, my best match I've played because I was actually able, I was actually able to get two helicopters in this game, which like I said, it's something I usually don't do, especially in reflux. So there I am, five kills again, working on getting seven. And you know, run out of bullets too. On this one. Sorry about that, y'all. The boy showed up and had distracted me. Where was I? Okay. On this game, it just feels like it's hard to get kill streaks, man. It's really, it really is a feat when you pull them off. Cause for some reason, it's just I don't know the guys. Can, I don't know what it is. Maybe one of you better players can explain to me why I feel like it's hard to get kill streaks on this compared to uh, Black Ops. Besides, you know, in Black Ops, you can make you can get a kill streak within two. If you have a certain perk with you, maybe that's it. But it definitely, it definitely feels worthwhile when you get a kill streak on this game. It really feels like you did something compared to Black Ops. Another thing about this game that I really like, I like the, I like the, uh, the environment, man. The stages, for some reason, feel a lot better. And don't get me wrong, there's some stages I definitely like on uh, Black Ops, but on this game, some of the stages have felt better to play in. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if they were it's because they were smaller, or maybe just the the way the structures of them, or just the the uh, overall uh, content they use. Where Black Ops has more of a you know uh, South American, Cuba type you know uh, environments. This is more you know Soviet, more I guess you know modern content. So you have modern areas. Another thing too, you notice on this game, I definitely use a lot of different uh, variety of guns compared to Black Ops, where Black Ops, you know, I use the, the game of gun that everybody hates, the Pharma. On this one, I'm not sure what they're called, but I have these, I have these guns. Mainly, I try to get anything that had a scope to help me out, because like I said, it's hard, a lot harder for me to really, you know, target something, point at something to get it. My settings are probably not the best compared to Black Ops. Or like I said, maybe it's just Black Ops has more, uh, more things to help you out when you're playing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, y'all. Like I said, I did pretty well. I ended up going like 29 and nine, I think, which for me is a, is a feat. I mean, I'm really proud of it. You know, I know I, I know I'm a new tuber. And I know I got killed probably more than I should have. But hey, like I said, for me, I, that's a great accomplishment. Uh. I'll see you guys soon for another video. This is the one. Peace. Enemy UAV is airborne. We've lost the lead. Enemy UAV is airborne. 
We've taken the lead! Reloading! Time's almost up! Target neutralized! <laughs> Grenade! Mission accomplished.